If you believe that trees are part of the solution in agriculture, then we're gonna need the equipment and people and expertise to make that happen. And so we're gonna need a canopy to do that. Uh, so I'm Kevin Wools. I was previously the co-executive director at the Savannah Institute. And when Canopy launched, I shifted over to being CEO of Canopy to take that uh, initiative and scale it up. Canopy has a very special relationship with the Savannah Institute. We, we work together really closely in a lot of different ways. Canopy's role is to execute and apply everything that comes out of the Savannah Institute's R&D. That can be the latest plant genetics developed by the Savannah Institute's breeding program that we can get into our nursery, propagate, scale up, and get out in a much larger way to, to the farming world. Uh, or it can be tools and data that are coming out of the research team that we can grow and apply in our work and with customers. Prior to Canopy, we had various initiatives trying to kind of pilot that farm management and farm services for, for farmers and landowners. But one of those projects was uh, at the Savannah Institute uh, our, with our demo farm team, having a, a mini bus and a couple interns all working to try to manage a range of farms from a very limited toolbox and limited set of technology. And uh, now with Canopy, we have a state-of-the-art fleet of equipment of trucks and trailers, self-driving tractors, uh, incredibly unique and innovative implements from all over the world that we've brought here to the Midwest to do things with trees that were previously really hard and now we can we can do much more easily and, and efficiently. It's pretty incredible the kind of fleet, especially making it mobile uh, to be able to help people in many different areas that, that we've built. Whether it be the agroforestry practices like windbreaks and riparian buffers, high value tree crops, or just simple conservation for your farm, we want to help you integrate trees onto your farm and give your farm a second story.